Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News for Mountain Comfort Furnishings and Design. It's day two of the Mayuary Winter Storm Advisory, and today brought the snow. Cars are off the road, all kinds of tow trucks trying to pick people up. I saw a tow truck sliding when I was driving. It's getting ugly out here. That was a Crystal listener from earlier this afternoon. Around 9 this morning, it was the first closure. Eastbound I-70 at the tunnels for a motorcycle crash. State Patrol confirms no one was hurt. This was soon after the heavy snow started. Since then, no motorcycles, but we've had numerous reports of vehicles stuck or spun out. On I-70 from Vail to the tunnels, on Highway 9 in Blue River and Alma, and Highway 91 at Fremont Pass. If tracking snow totals is still your thing, we've got them. Breckenridge reports 8 to 9 inches, Copper 9 inches, Loveland 10 inches, A Basin 10 to 11 inches. All that fell during the day today. Scheduled repair work on a water main in North Frisco has been delayed for the snow. That work is happening tomorrow instead. Creekside Drive, Sunset Drive, and Riverside Place. Nearby homes will be without water. Summit County is running out of natural gas. Excel Energy says that Breckenridge is already using more gas than its system can provide. Excel has been supplementing it with a temporary gas site. In 10 years, Excel wants a permanent fix by getting homes off gas and onto electric through solar and heat pump rebates. But commissioners say your average homeowner won't bite. Traditionally, it is the folks who are most economically vulnerable who end up paying those fees because they're the folks that have not had an opportunity to do the conversion because incentives are inherently a, an unequitable approach. Excel says there's money and they're willing to give it out. If a heat pump, for example, would have cost you $30,000 to install, Excel Energy is willing to pay $30,000. But even that won't be enough. Excel still needs two more temporary gas sites here to meet growing demand. County commissioners are killing lease to locals and denying a master lease program for employers. Here's Eric Mamula at today's commissioner meeting. I appreciate all the work and the analysis, but I'm, I'm good with it putting this thing to bed and finding all their alternatives. Lease to Locals gives money to homeowners who rented long-term instead of short-term. It was never meant to last forever, but that program has been defunded without a replacement because the master lease idea fell flat. For most small businesses, honestly, the whole master lease thing is putting you on the hook for rent, fire an employee or whatever. It just makes, it makes zero sense. One possible replacement is a tax credit for homeowners who rent long-term. That is still in the works. County officials want to see you tomorrow for your thoughts on the new countywide master plan. It's called Blueprint Summit, and they really want to get more young working people involved. You have two open houses tomorrow, 9 to 11 a.m. or 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. at the Frisco Adventure Park Day Lodge. Today we are in the classroom learning about a new and promising approach to dyslexia. I'm Stacia Slaughter and I am the literacy resource teacher at Breckenridge Elementary. Mrs. Slaughter has a personal connection to dyslexia her twins. They have dyslexia, both of my children. We found out during COVID and that's what started me on this journey, was just finding a solution for them. But first it helps to know what dyslexia is. Dyslexia is a neurobiological issue, learning difference, and it basically means that the brain is wired differently for reading. And what it is not. Dyslexic kids, it doesn't affect their IQ. It does affect like the way that their brain processes information. Mrs. Slaughter brought specialized learning to Breckel. This school year, she worked with 65 dyslexic students, about one in five. That's the standard rate for dyslexia across the globe. Gradually over time with this very structured, very intensive remediation, they have worked so hard and they're on grade level. She gives the example of other COVID kids who fell behind with virtual learning. It's a matter of kind of changing and shifting our perspectives in teaching to just make it more equitable across the board for a disability that really you can't see. The work she is doing now at Breckel is the first of its kind in Summit School District but she hopes it's just the beginning. So I've been really advocating for more people to be trained in this way, and so many teachers want to do that. Thanks again for going in the classroom, proudly presented by Heavenly Times Hot Tubs and Billiards and the Summit Foundation Bright Futures Fund. In sports, Colorado's baseball team opens a home series with the Giants tonight, and the Avalanche, they're playing the Stars in Game 1 of the second round, 7.30 on ESPN. And in local sports, today's baseball doubleheader at Battle Mountain has been postponed until tomorrow, Girls Lacrosse should still be on the road to Horizon for opening round of the 4A Lacrosse Tournament. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.